come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> Thank you for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. We're a movie review podcast that comes at you every week. You can find us on Apple Podcasts, on Google Podcasts, Stitcher Radio, TuneIn Radio, and a host of other fine podcast data banks. Ah, oh, goddammit. Repositories. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> So, what we do, we watch a movie chosen round robin from around the room. We're going to go with the starting lineup of the internet radio superstars. <laughs> Just making it up as he goes along. <laughs> Sean. Michaela. Holly. And I'm Colin. And tonight we watch the movie that was chosen by... Colin. Colin, what did we watch tonight? Tonight we watched Killer Clowns from Outer yeah, Space. Say, where are they from? <laughs> Directed by who? Uh, the Kyoto Brothers. In mm-hmm. the year 1988, which makes this the 30th anniversary of oh, Killer shit. Clowns. Wow. It's from Outer Space. 30 years. Yeah. Uh, how do we know the Kyoto Brothers, Sean? I mean, I know them from Critters. Mm-hmm. But, Sean uh, and his critters. Me and my critters. He loves his critters. I do. I know. And I'm you getting do. rewarded for that later. You this are. Year. It's Thank exciting. you, Shout Factory. God, God bless all you. Four all the critter four. Movies <laughs> in oh, one fine on Blu-ray. Mm, yep. mm, mm. Uh, what they do on creature the effects is, is what they usually uh, do. It's what they're known for. What they're most known for, I would say. So they did all the creature effects for uh, critters. Um, they've done. I mean, they've done a bunch of other stuff. Yeah, they do like uh, oh, dream done, sequences uh, and right, stuff. Right, and Ernest. Um, I'm guessing Ernest that makes so much scared, sense. Stupid. scared stupid. I have that because in my notes. Scared stupid. Right. Yeah. As soon as I watch this, I'm yeah. like, this feels Ernest, Ernest needs to be yeah. in this movie. Yeah. What's yeah. going yeah. on? Oh, yeah. But, it basi- but he basically stupid. was because Ernest Scared Stupid is basically Killer Clowns from Yeah, pretty much. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Basically. Yeah. I've never seen this movie. It's even got the same swirl when they blow up. Yes. Well, yeah. did they... So they did effects work or just the creature work? The trolls in Ernest Get Scared Stupid are repurposed clowns. You can tell because they look the same. Yeah. There you go. It's just shorter and then yeah. the same faces and everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I have a question about the last name. Kyoto. Kyoto? They because, are American. Well, I, I'm <laughs> curious because when I was a scene kid in high school, there was a band called Chiodos that was spelled the same way, but it was pronounced uh, Chiodos. I don't, I don't know, know what the correct relation. pronunciation yeah. is. These yeah, but I'm Kyotos. curious. These are like, the Kyotos, But yeah. this was also a time when you had bands taking things from pop culture sure. and repurposing mm-hmm. that True. as a band but name. This is so just I'm a band who is... didn't know what they were talking about. They're or, like, oh, I love the Chiotos. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm wondering. <laughs> was this during the the Save Ferris era? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's yeah, it's. I'm curious, like, if they chose to do that. Pronunciation, mm. or if they just don't know it's incorrect. Mm. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say they don't <laughs> yeah. know it's incorrect. Yeah, probably. probably, yeah. Well, there's three of them. There's three brothers in yes. this collective. I think they also did uh, Team America. Yes, they did Team America. Right. Yeah. They I kept thinking that they did up. the Tool. Uh, what was it? Uh, sober video or whatever. The, but not, it's not uh, maybe. Them. But they did like uh, dream sequences and like, I think Better Off Dead or Weird Science. Oh, or- cool. oh yeah. Did they, when they turned yeah. uh, Chet into the monster? Yeah. yeah, yeah it yeah. seems like them. There's some Simpsons couch gags and stuff. Yep. The, Better Off Dead, that was a claymation sequence. Was that what you're I talking about? I think that's them. Yeah. That's okay. them. Yeah. 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 They've been uh, around Hollywood for a while. I don't know what they've done since, like, Team America, but uh, this was their brainchild, I guess, because somebody sat and oh, said. They did the we- large Marge scene from Pee Wee. Yeah, oh, yeah, Jesus. yeah. That was them. But somebody, uh, one of them, they wanted to make a horror movie, I think, mm-hmm. like, you know, because they had been working on other people's horror movies for so mm-hmm. long. And they said, what's the scariest thing that you can think of? And I think the idea that inspired them is uh, one of them said what would be really creepy is if you're driving down a road at night and a car pulls up next to you and you look over and there's a there's a clown in there. <laughs> Wouldn't that be creepy? And that's so, where the idea for this movie So came. 2016 must have been the scariest year ever for these guys. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> With clowns just showing up everywhere. <laughs> what's the uh, psychological? What's the ter- what's the fear of clowns called? Mm, uh, yeah. I'll look it up. Uh, I, I think it's call callrophobia. Call callrophobia. 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 Is Sounds it? like you're afraid of cauliflower. Yeah, callrophobia. Yeah, but it's actually fear of clowns. Oh, that's, that's you ever been afraid of clowns? No, never. Well, at this time in in the real world, wasn't John Wayne Gacy's trial like really gaining momentum? I think that was over. Uh, yeah, that was before this because that was in the seventies. Well, he was yeah. arrested in the seventies. Yeah, but he wasn't, his trial was later yeah. on. Yeah, I don't remember. When he wasn't was. put to death till ninety four. 
It could have been in, in the peak of his trial. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what I was trying to remember before, you know, tonight. I was, like, trying to look up, like, you know, when did when did people, like, start... When did the clown shift from being this, like, you know, thing yeah. he had at kids' birthday parties and at the circus, and yes. everybody loves him, to, in the like, eight, it, horror, Gacy you know. didn't help it. Yeah. yeah. Well, he was the start of it, I yeah. think. But mm -hmm. the, that's the thing. I don't think Gacy ever, like, he, you know, we always think of him as, like, the serial killer clown, but he never killed anybody dressed as, as a, a clown. clown no 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 he did not no, he was just like, fucking it, scary and his fucking makeup with yeah the, yeah the fact that he violated out. clown etiquette right, is sharp part points of the problem in the makeup yeah. and all yeah. that stuff yeah. Yeah. for all of you who don't but know I'm, that yeah but i mean i see what you're saying because in the 80s like you still have you still have bozo the clown and you still have like yeah. that Ronald friendly McDonald? clown character sure yeah. exactly yeah. you still McDonald's. have that friendly clown character so when did the switch really happen well uh, the internet tells us that it was 85 when Stephen King did uh, it. it. Mm -hmm. but right. I think, but it seems to me the idea, you know, I mean, Gacy obviously was in the public sure, consciousness, yeah, but yeah. the idea of like, I think there were just kids who were creeped out by clowns. Maybe that's sure. just a thing, you know, some kids react like, ooh, but I think maybe there's always been something like even a little yeah. kid when they first see them, there's this guy in this, you know, crazy garish white Yeah, face just looking at you going. But yeah, there's a there's a really good documentary called Killer Legends that actually investigates like where the whole like uh, abducting clown theory kind of came from that mm -hmm. really hit its peak in the 90s. The idea that like people in clown costumes were driving around and abducting kids. Mm. Um, the idea is terrifying. Yeah. If even if yeah. maybe you don't right. think clowns are just the association with driving around and abducting people. Well, it, I mean, it, it did happen, but, like, obviously that became, like, an urban legend that kind of sure. grew out of control, right. but, like, Yeah, because I remember that. Yeah, I remember that being a kid in my town. Just yeah. Like, yeah, the white van that drives around. The white van! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the white the van white and the van. clowns. That was a thing but for a long time. They like, really, Whoa. like, at least in the Midwest, kind of got a, like, just morbid association with I think it was in the 20s there was a rail car that was carrying a circus that yes. crashed and killed hundreds of circus performers including yeah. a bunch of cr clowns hmm. and they were buried in a mass grave in, in the, the cemetery oh, right, right, right. big monument yeah, yeah. 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 Go see. so like that was the first time that they kind of had like a morbid association was like they all died in this horrible fire and got just thrown in a big hole and covered up There's so that. yeah then if you've ever seen anybody dressed in a costume from the 1920s they're all terrifying yeah, terrifying. yeah. absolutely terrifying yes. oh, yeah. like early Halloween yeah, costumes yeah, yeah. Yeah. Shit. They're oh, just all God. terrifying. They're so scary. Yeah, it doesn't matter what it is. They're all <laughs> yeah. Awful. It's just, it's they just all horrible. look like nightmares. Yep. Yeah. All of them. And did everybody think that they were funny costumes back in the 1920s? I don't, I don't know. know. Maybe. I mean, because well, I mean, you look at these pictures like of kids going trick or treating and they're oh, dressed yeah. as like a scarecrow. It's like Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. It's so terrifying. Yeah, yeah. terrifying just, things were funny back then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was just whatever their parents could put together out of like right. The you're gonna you're it was, right. You're gonna be a scarecrow. It was the depression. It was a harder time. Right. Everything was scary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Everybody had mm -hmm. fucking black eyes in their cuts. <laughs> They're like, our country is dying. A scarecrow, not scary. Yeah, yeah. I never see oh. scarecrows. You drive around and never. Well, like at least around ones here. Out. we have yeah. cornfields. And there's yeah. no, no, no scarecrow. No, I don't think anybody does that. But are crows a big problem nowadays? Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a chemical that will just kill them <laughs> yeah. at this point. instantly. Yeah. yeah, you get within five feet of the <laughs> corn gonna, and they just drop have, out of the air. <laughs> we're gonna have so much hate mail from farmers <laughs> and They're crows. Like, you have no idea. <laughs> If you are a crow listening to this podcast, please write in and tell us your yeah. plight at this point. I'd like to know. Mm -hmm. Just we'll like read takes your drag, comments like, later. Fuck you guys. And, 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 <laughs> I'm going to tell you about crows. <laughs> um, so, crows, but the clowns, haven't heard that name in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> the clowns in this movie are not, uh, I mean, I don't know if that was a distinction that they were making, so... You know, the clowns wouldn't get a bad rap, but they don't look like They're guys trying to protect in, clowns. You know, they don't look like the insane clown posse or right. the guys that they you don't see look like the, people dressed as clowns. Right. They look like their features are very exaggerated. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they look like to me like they they look like cartoon uh, you know renderings somehow brought to three D right. sculpted life. They're yeah. basically with their guys wandering around in uh, clown suits with these giant animatronic remote con radio controlled yeah. sculpted yeah. heads. heads yes. Yeah. Which are actually kind of cool. Yeah, I pretty think so. cool. Yeah. yeah. They, yeah. They, they have like the ear twitching. Oh, yeah. 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 That was cool. Good facial muscles blinking. It reminded me of stuff. Dopey from Snow White. The ear twitching. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. But yeah. They build a lot of, uh, well, I don't know how articulated they are, but I mean, they have like, you know, they, they, they blink more than they yeah. should be for like this that. movie. I they would smile. Say. Like yeah. the, they get the surprise mouth. Like, yeah, I kind of yeah. love that. Unless they're switching them out for one that it can actually, with the teeth and all that in there, I yeah. don't know. Yeah. Each one of them seems to do a different thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the idea, the plot of this movie, then, is uh, oh, is basically, 
a, a sp- spaceship comes from outer a, space. A comet lands. It starts lands. just like the blob. Just think about that. It, is, it does. It's the blob. Okay, starts like the blob or is a remake. Of, of the, the blob. blob. We're talking the 1950s blob. It kind of is. In, yeah, a, in a sense, it is. Basically, a remake, yeah. yeah. Because you've got... Uh, Something lands in the woods. You're yep. like, oh, what was I that? I guess it's Kids also Night of the Creeps it. by that logic, yeah. though, too. Well, true. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. Well, yeah. Because yeah, that had a comment with aliens, too. Uh-huh. Well, but this one even goes as far as to have an old guy and his dog, uh, you know, trotting Ooh, off into right. the woods. Royal Dano. Him. The great character. The great <laughs> Royal Dano. <laughs> I like, never see this guy. This is his second. This is his second uh, freak show appearance. Is his it? First was, As we figured out, Ghoulies too. Oh, too. that's right. He was the drunk uncle. I, yep. like, oh I my know God. this guy. He's played a bumbling drunk idiot before. Yeah. But that's why I'm surprised you haven't seen House Two, which is his crowning moment, where he plays in full like prosthetics. Yeah. He's the old grandpa that they Ooh. dig up and you know. How fun. Yeah. Is yeah. House Two any good? No. All right. <laughs> it's really house bad. 2, the second story. Yeah. Because I, lo- I liked House a lot. I love House. House, house yeah. too bad. House 3 and 4, <laughs> bad. Yeah, we don't even go there. Jesus, this is 3 and 4? Oh kind of. That's a whole, uh, like, a whole a thing. history it's lesson. A whole thing. And, yeah. Is it always the same house, or do they change no. houses? Is different the third, is the third one, like, du- house? duplex? Is, Jesus, like the history of demons at this <laughs> yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it is. Uh, you can go off on House uh, <laughs> two, 2, 3, and 4. Oh, my God. Yeah, Royal Dano's in it. He uh, bites it early. So As he the finds, prospector. Right? Yeah, basically. So the, their spaceship, basically, they yeah. land in the woods, and it's like a big top. It's a yep. big top. Mm-hmm. Which yep. later literally turns into a big top. Yes, Bravo does. to yeah. them, yeah. the filmmakers yes. who just went the whole went way there. with that they joke. They went there. I feel like that's how they came up with this movie and wrote everything else around it. <laughs> Maybe. Yes. <laughs> right? Because this movie is basically a catalog. I mean, it is kind of like you're just going through the catalog of crazy clown jokes yeah. and how you can yep. change every single one of them into like some kind of sci-fi horror angle. Right. And because they have the balloon animals, or they right, have the, the cotton candy, and yeah, they have popcorn that shoots yeah. and turns into smaller. It's like they're like, like little baby. They're like little like, seeds. Yeah, little. Seeds. They're little clown seeds. Yeah. Yeah. Ew. I like it. Oh your- god. <laughs> <laughs> your hand movement. Disgusting. Didn't help. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I did not put that together. Oh, there, yeah. no, there is no clown fucking so in this gross. movie. Yeah. I just want to be clear. Yeah. No, but he does take his seeds sequel. and like throw them in the dumpster. Yeah, he does. Yeah. <laughs> That's gross. Because yeah. there they will grow. Okay, maybe I missed it, but why was there no like like peanuts can that you open and it's like oh, crazy shit. snakes that, that shoot was out? Missing. Yeah. Why was that right? not? And in then there? it should just like shoot through whoever opens it up. Just or yeah. just real snakes shoot or out of it. Snakes, you know, like that. Yeah. But there were yeah. actually moments where I was like, "What are they going to do next?" And then they had like you know the little car gag where guys would come out of it or something. I'm like, Which could oh, yeah, have, I like if, about that, but that's a clown thing, right? Yeah. But if we're going to do a movie called Killer Clowns from Outer Space like this, that gag should have gone farther. It should have gone way. Like five clowns jumped out of that thing. People have been can 20. fit in a normal sedan. Like, yeah, that's not a stretch. It's a tiny car. It's a little and we see at the that's end. That's the point, Colin. And we see at the end they had the resources to do like 30 yes, clowns out did. of the car. And it should have done it. They should have done it. Yeah, because I kind of thought, because it's been like 20 years since I've seen this movie. Yeah. Because I kind of thought there was, um, in my mind, I remember it being a limited amount of clowns. I thought there were like, three. I thought, yeah. well, I thought there were like five, and that's all yeah. we'd see yeah. throughout the movie. And then we got yeah. to the end, and it was like, there's 30 clowns in this yeah. movie. Yeah. And, I, and, I, and a boss clown. Boss the, clown that's yeah. the thing. Clownzilla? Like, that's yeah, the thing. Clownzilla. Like, I would have understood if the big reveal was that there was a, just a mass amount of clowns, but the big reveal was the giant boss clown. Yeah. Yeah. So really, they could have spared some more with the car scene. It wasn't a huge so. reveal. Yeah. I, think you go I almost it. wonder if yeah. they did it and like cut it down. Because, because they close the door yeah. and they yeah. all stand there. Like, yeah, Ooh. no, no. I think they, I they can't thought that they was they enough. Do. I'm just, like, I'm just really angry that they didn't go for it. Right? Yeah. Like I'm really, go I'm for really it. because they at some point have a shadow monster eat people. Yeah. So yeah. like they were the thinking, right? They were yeah. thinking far enough ahead. Yes. In that regard, like nobody just said we should have twenty of them pop out of this. Nobody car. watched <laughs> these clowns climb out of the car and they're like, wait a second. Right. Maybe that was a day when they didn't have enough uh, extra performers. On I mean, schedule. maybe, maybe, yeah. Yeah. maybe because it does feel like they had. Uh, all right, we have it scheduled for this day, this day. All right, on this day we need thirty clowns, and yeah. this is the only mm-hmm. time we're going to be able to get thirty people to dress up as clowns. Yeah. yeah. So that may have been the only. Oh, because like, they couldn't day. make them the masks fast enough. Something like that. Something wasn't available, or they just didn't have enough people to make that until this. Like we have two days with thirty clowns, so this yeah. is all we can shoot with this. Yeah. yeah. So they were lacking in that department. But they but go God for the it. humor every chance they get it. So it felt weird for them to not go. I'm gonna for say. It. Yeah. I'm yeah. gonna yeah. say quotes humor. <laughs> in that regard. Is this a f- comedy or a horror movie? Both. Both. 
I'm not horrified. I mean, there's you. La- we all laughed. We quite all a laughed. Bit. We <laughs> laughed. There are moments where you're just like, all right, he puts a cherry in a fucking pile of a dude. That yeah, was that funny as hell. Like, I was like, I appreciate what you did there. I like I'm that. sorry when she goes to go out the window and they're underneath with yes. the trampoline. That's, that shit was that's funny. The, that was like, that's what you need to do. It was like yeah. the whole good. movie right here. I love that's it. That's brilliant. So this movie is like terrifying to like ten year olds or something. If like you're, that. If, might be. if someone's afraid of clowns, then probably. But none of us are afraid of clowns. Would you be afraid of those like faces? I mean, they're you know. If I they're, was, they're afraid, pretty grotesque. I think like, you're, well, that's what we're wondering. Like, are you afraid of clowns in that like regular sense, like just people with makeup on their face? Because I think there's there's a difference between that yeah. and ex, you know extorted clown faces like we have in this so I'm movie. Saying, they're like exaggerating it. So right. They're not really you know. Right. It, it's funny that the movie is written as if you know whenever people see them they treat them like oh it's a person dressed as a how cute. Yeah. But we're looking at like these you know uh, crazy deformed. Creatures. Right. Yeah. Everybody else comes across and they're like oh uh, you should you stop doing that or the cops find them just like alright put that down or like a fucking clown drives yeah. up next to a dude. Oh there's and a what scares, show. What scares him <laughs> is that there's no car in which the clown drives <laughs> Yeah. Not that there's a, a huge deformed clown yeah. Yeah. next yeah. to him doesn't uh, no, face No, I will him at say, I, as I said, I'm not afraid of clowns, but I was driving before and I was at a stoplight and I looked over and there was a clown driving what? next to me. And that was terrifying to just look over look and see you? a clown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he did. And he I, smiled and I almost peed myself. Whatever I was doing that day, I'd be like, well, I'm done with this day. No, I'm yeah, go home no, and go no, back I to I was bed. going this home. sign like, from the universe. I should just oh, go home. Yeah, I need to when lock my When he looks over, and... does he smile or just look He smiled. Like, well, he's a clown. He's going to It was terrifying. He's, <laughs> he's already smiling. <laughs> yeah. It was terrifying. It's painted on. He can't stop. Yeah. I, I was <laughs> like, you motherfucker, you know exactly what you're doing right now. Oh, it was terrifying. Can't do it. Well, they, I thought the whole like clown union uh, came out against it because it was oh, giving yeah. them yeah. a bad name. Right. It's, a, it's not technically they, a clown. They came out That's against the, the thing. Like it's yeah. it's not technically a it's clown. An alien. It's an alien. So it's, it's, an, it's you know, very it's, true. It's, yeah, it's a manifestation of your fear. You know. So they also came out against the 2016 clowns. <laughs> They were just like, they're giving us a bad name. The ones that yeah. were terrorizing neighborhoods. Yeah. All across yeah. There America. were interviews with clowns on TV on actual legitimate news channels. They're just like, Wait, we have to guys in, in the full makeup. There's a clown yeah. union. Talking they have their own were they crying, makeup. Crying clowns. So they were like, these guys are rooting. Right. Out. With the blue tears. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On. They should have. They're just like, I need to draw this on from it. There were guys in makeup. <laughs> and out of makeup going, they're giving us a bad name. Dab their, no, right. they, wouldn't, like, they wouldn't do that because all clowns, they have their clown persona. You can't be a sad clown and they like they pick. They have mm. very, very specific true. clown characters. Which shake the, shakes the clowns. Well, that, that's it. Bobcat. Bobcat Goldthwait has a good story about debating Shakes the Clown <laughs> on TV <laughs> on a news channel. Um, it's out there somewhere. He even tells it on. There's another podcast, Harmon Town with Dan Harmon. He's he was a guest on it. And he tells that story. It's and it's pretty fucking funny. I would find that out. He also does a a story about the Juggalos oh, and Saint Clown Posse. Well, yeah, it was a, it was a, a clown centric yeah. episode. Well, that's what, when I would thing, seek that out. When they note up at the end of this uh, Clownzilla, I'm like, is that the Great Malenko or whatever? I mean, is this <laughs> the moment that they got their inspiration yeah. for their great clown deity? <laughs> the great clown <laughs> deity. <laughs> so, are you a closeted juggalo, oh Colin? Wow, so, Colin. Uh, killer clowns. It was a phase. It was a phase. <laughs> and he's not proud of it. I was going to say, did you ever go to the gathering? <laughs> From right here, it's a lifestyle. Some, did you drink so. some Fago? Yeah. Fucking magnets. How do they work, man? You know? Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> They're but true I know, poets. I know, I know people. Um, true poets. So. Yeah, shaggy two dope and killer J. Oh, God. Oh, so. oh no. This okay. So we're saying that this movie basically takes two things: that it's taking a laundry list of clown cliches. Cliches. There you mm-hmm. go. Thank you. That's a good word. You're welcome. Yeah. And <laughs> marries that to the plot of why well, it's going for like invasion. a 1950s alien yes. invasion movie. Yeah. Very but much it's so. specifically, I think, the blob. It, yeah. Oh yeah. Because yeah. you have, yeah. uh, you know, the the setup is the same, and then I think the dynamic that you have between, uh, you know, Steve McQueen and the cops was there was the older cop who's like these kids we gotta you know, and then uh, yeah, the, <laughs> he the, leaned the, into that role <laughs> for this movie. <laughs> this John Vernon. Yeah. You know who he is. Uh, I, I've that seen him many times before. Right? Yeah, Dean, Dean Wormer from uh, there Animal it is. House. Oh right, oh, there it is. And he was the mayor in uh, Dirty Harry. That was always Callahan. Damn it, you know that's him. Animal House. Okay. That was driving me crazy. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. Like, I've seen this guy plenty of times before. Okay. Yeah. He just always kind of plays that character. Yeah. In fact, he parodied it in a movie called "I'm Going to Get You, Sucker." Yes. Yes, yeah. yes, he did. Yes, he did. That's pretty good. Um, 
And uh, trivia note, I found out that he and Royal Dano are both in the outlaw Josie Wales together. Yes, they are. There it is. Okay, so there you yes, go. they are. Um, but yeah, so he, J- Vernon plays, uh, what is it, Chet Mooney? No, I'm sorry. It was uh, <laughs> you Officer You just want to call Mooney? him Chet. <laughs> Officer Mooney. <laughs> Officer he is Mooney. the Chet of this movie. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Art Mooney. Yeah, no, it was, uh, yeah, so Officer Mooney and then the, his junior partner. Dave. 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 Thank you very much. <laughs> Uh, from Baywatch, yeah. <laughs> uh, he's, he actually is from. He Baywatch. actually is from Baywatch. I was just like, this guy feels like he's from Baywatch. I'm yeah. like, he is from Baywatch. He's That's Ken- because I used to watch a lot of Baywatch. He's a Ken doll, basically. Yeah, yes. pretty much. And yeah. he uh, and at they- some point gets replaced by Ken doll. Yeah, and it works. <laughs> it was, yes, perfect. The hair is spot on. He's Ken yep. when they yeah. do the King Kong esque, uh, you know, yeah, the yeah. Kongzilla, Kong yeah, the Clownzilla, yeah. <laughs> Pick him up. Eat Who's him. the hero of this movie? Oh, or the protagonist. Who's the protagonist? We kind of have three. The the brothers, the TNZ brothers. Uh, well, that TNZ makes it like five. Brothers. There's a bunch. There's a group. There's like five. But I mean, <laughs> whose perspective do you see the movie through? Is it Mike? What's his name? Mike Tobacco, name. right? Mike, Mike Tobacco. Tobacco. <laughs> Him. Why? Why is his last name Tobacco? Because uh, it sounds cool, Sean. I guess so. Mike, to- <laughs> Mike, Mike Tobacco. Tobacco. Well, we only, to be fair, we only find that out when the, credits, the credits roll. roll yeah. Yeah. yeah, they weren't confident enough to put it thing. in the script. Like, what? We don't know his last name. Make it Tobacco. All right. The word <laughs> is that uh, the Kyoto brothers actually named a bunch of people after people that they know. Sure. That's I doubt they, they know said, someone named Mike Tobacco. They swear up know. and down. But I mean, the guy, these guys' personalities are joke right so yeah. i don't know but they said they knew a guy named mike tobacco and that's why he the, might call himself that, that, that doesn't mean it's his name, name. Yeah. <laughs> i don't know i but, call bullshit uh i forgot where i was going what were we talking about before the who's the, the, who's the, the, protagonist. Protagonist. Who's the protagonist yeah because i can't tell i'm not sure if it's mike I know or her if name. it's Donna? Uh, what's her name deb 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 because she played wow deb i would in never have guessed that in. you're welcome <laughs> <laughs> that's what holly's here for so I'm here. Like, i remember these things <laughs> yeah it's either mike dave or deb yeah. well i yeah. mean it doesn't seem it like literally deb. is mike dave and deb yeah it is yeah but i can't it's split so much on yeah. like who's actually driving the action because it seems That's, like we're we going to get characters. this from we come back to Mike and, uh, and Deb's point of view and then once uh, the hero cop kind of Dave like comes in believes yeah. what they're saying right. and he becomes the man of action you know like I'm going to go in here and sacrifice yeah. myself to save the day the man of too much action maybe he's a little I think he's the man of just enough. <laughs> <laughs> he's definitely in it. I dig like it. He's, uh, he's all for it. He's committed to his he character. He is in it. What, what <laughs> he's about, in it to win. Yeah. It. What about the two ice cream truck guys? We'll see. What, what were they named, Sean? Ramsey brothers, yeah. What? what were their names, Sean? They only said it like a thousand times in this movie. Uh, wait, Rich, like Paul. Paul. Yeah. Rich, Rich Paul. Paul. Rich Paul. Rich Paul. Yes. Yeah. Which has got to be a joke of some sort because they only refer, refer to them as like, oh, Rich Paul. <laughs> Not Rich and Paul. I'm telling you, it's it's because they're just throwing out these like uh, things for their friends. That's what it feels like. That is a thing where just like they knew, they knew people who they were just like, oh, Rich and Paul are always together. Yeah, and we just like Rich Paul. Yeah, like you said, they said like it was one name all the time though. Like the way they always was delivered was like that. Yeah, Yeah. so it's got to be a thing. They reminded me, he has. Probably none of you guys have seen Rad, right? Oh yeah, thank God. Oh, no, no th- there is two twins in Rad that are exactly like those two guys, and that's what it reminds me. Well, these me. guys are like. So, what do they do in the movie? Well, they're ice cream truck drivers, <laughs> but they're, they're cru- bad at they're cru- it. They're, they're cruising bad. for chicks, basically, in an ice cream in truck. an ice cream truck mm-hmm. with yeah. a giant with clown chicks on top. already in it. Yeah, I, yeah. I did like that. They're the, not that kind. They're not, not that, that kind, kind of girls. girls. No, aren't not. those? Kind, they aren't out. those kind of girls. <laughs> you know, we the grammar. Got the grammar. Yeah, <laughs> you got They there. are not those kind of girls. <laughs> you got there. <laughs> is this movie? Is it an East Coast movie or a West Coast movie? No fucking clue. Couldn't I tell no you. Uh, There's an ocean. Like a, it feels like a Connecticut. There's movie. a boardwalk. Maybe a Pacific Northwest. May it's either up there. It might be Canada for all we know. It could be Canada. Honestly, that would make a lot more sense. I think it's Vermont or Washington. I think this is where this movie is. Where would an old prospector live? Yeah, no, right. It's like Washington. it's just supposed to be like anywhere. I think they actually did film on the Santa Monica Boardwalk. Oh, for it the, looks cold, the carnival, though. Yeah, like yeah, it they looks go around cold. Well, everybody wears sweaters. Everybody's the wrapped 80s. up. Yeah, they wear sweaters. And, right, I don't know what the, the deal is the with that. The people who get eaten by the the shadow puppet are like they have gloves, and I can yeah. see their breath at some point. Yeah, so well, they always shoot somewhere. these things like in the winter. I don't know why they don't shoot stuff in California in the summer because it's fucking hot. It's really hot. It's like 110 it's degrees. They're doing it. The whole movie takes place at night. This takes place over one night, yeah? 
Yeah. 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 Because yeah. yeah. really yeah. yeah. yeah, they get right into it. That's the thing with yeah. this movie. There is no. They, <laughs> no backstory, no thought process. Yeah. Like the clowns showed up and started fucking with people. And they that's start, it for this yeah, movie. and they start out in a location with the worst nickname in like the history of film. Instead of like fucking makeout oh, point yeah. or lovers lane, it's the top of the world. Oh yeah, top of the world. Well, I mean, there's so many, but there's so many. The right, there's so many puns that can go along with that. It's but like, they hey, don't. Baby, use, I'm gonna take you to the. But top they don't of the world. use any of them. Yeah, they don't. Yeah, it was just. <laughs> <laughs> they do not. It was just a waste, and I hated they it. They should. We're they should. To the top of the world. I'm going to take you to the top of the world. But mm. they didn't. You ever been to the top of the world? <laughs> and, Andrew, you, you, know, you, are making, you are making eye contact with me, and it's making me so uncomfortable. <laughs> or is it making you comfortable? Mm, okay, uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a busy place. All right, sorry, like... I'll just do it to Colin for this. Want to go to the top of the world? Yeah. Hey. You and me? All right. There you go. <laughs> yeah, it is a busy place because that's where right, everybody hangs out, out on there. There's like uh, ten cars uh, there. Uh, yeah, it's there. Yeah, there's, uh, there's a bunch. Christopher Titus shows up yeah. in his first yes. movie role. It, I would mean, feel because he's walking across drinking the beer. He's drinking beer. The, it's yeah, called beer. It's just like, beer. I love that. White can, we black can't get, any, we can't get any brand because we're a cheap movie, so it's just going to. It, it beer. looked like they tried to make it look like a Miller Light can. Yeah, right, but just yeah, the, the, the old the old Miller Light like, can. Yeah. Isn't that what like a gen- any kind of generic product that looked like it was just Basically, white yeah, with right. black letters? I yeah, feel like, like it had like soup. Kinda, yeah, it's, I don't, it's I don't think beer. I've ever seen generic beer though. Like, That's no, thing. Like, it I don't think yeah. it exists. Yeah. If you've ever seen Lost, they have like there's a, there's Dharma Initiative beer where it just says beer. Yeah. It's got the Dharma logo on it. It's not slushy. That's all you Lost fans. Disappointing. No, yeah. it's not. Um, I yeah. can't go with you on that journey. No, no, no I think I'm the only one who <laughs> goes on that journey. There's still Lost fans. Oh, yeah, that show was fantastic. That show was fantastic. Yeah. All you can, yeah. yeah. How did it end though? Start to end. It ended. Uh, it was almost. Well, there we have to part ways. But yeah. While it was on, damn it, that was a thing. I'm all One for the, the ending, but that's this is. Uh, we digress. Yeah. All right, we can't get into the lost. Oh Jesus! Wow. Jesus! They're Haunted ghosts in here. Basement. Oh my God! God damn it, Igor! Yep. Igor! We've got bottle caps just being. <laughs> Igor just threw a bottle cap at me. It's fine. It's fine. It's like, he's like, you're making fun of my people. <laughs> I'm going to clown school. Is he the others? Is he the others? Yeah. Is that? Did I do it? Did I do it? <laughs> oh, you're trying so hard with the lost chips. That's all I know. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. That's right. Smoke monster. All right. Uh, yeah, well, there yeah. You go. Yeah, oh, yeah. All right. Like I know something about. That's all I know. A polar bear and a smoke monster. <laughs> yep. Those are my, that's, that's all, all I got. Really know. Yeah. See, so you all need to stop because I'm about to be like, well, you see, the polar bear has moved the island, <laughs> <laughs> so we all need to stop right now. <laughs> Matthew Fox. All right, we're done. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. We, we all go. need to be we're done. My own Back to Killer Clowns from Outer Space. <laughs> all right. So it's uh, uh, so basically, yeah, this lovers like so it's an invasion. It's an alien invasion movie where yes. usually yeah. we see the giant slug or the. Whatever, right? Creatures, sort of parasite, yeah, slither, coming, whatever. Yeah. yeah, yep. And in this case, it's the clown. So, as Sean said, the movie gets right out of the gate with like the clown plot, which is yeah. basically these series of vignettes as they go around, you know, delivering pizza and zapping people with their gun that, that yeah. wraps them up in uh, in cotton, cotton candy. candy or patronizing a drugstore for an hour. Yeah, and just going rummaging through all the shit. Yeah. But they're just basically, they're going out and capturing humans, like, right off the bat. So sure. it's yeah. like, get and go, and here we are. Harvesting them. Yes. So the B plot. The A plot? The A plot. That's the A plot? Yeah. Is that way it was? Oh, I don't know. I'm saying that's the B plot. Okay. It's got to be the A plot. A plot is with our, okay. here to see a plot is with our main characters. B plot okay. is the clowns okay. fucking around. and Okay. So the A stuff. plot is these teenagers. No, they're not. All right, I'm putting We don't know. We don't know that. These year olds Yeah. Because yeah. one of them's a cop. So yeah. well, he's he, at least he's in his early 20s. Already. Dave, Dave is So he dated, he has an underage ex-girlfriend? Yes. All right, that's, well, he's in problem. college now, no, and he's because, also because, twenty five. He's out of college because he fucking college we have nothing to establish no, no, age fucking, whatsoever. Fucking Mike also makes a reference of when he was in high school; those two idiots were his friends. Okay, so they're so, college students. These these bastards are out of high school. Okay, we yeah. don't know by how far. It could be ten years. So they're it could be two years. years old. Don't know by looking at them. We sure. have no idea. Yeah. That's right. Chris Titus may have been twenty two at this point. Yeah, so that's about right. Was right. he the one that had the raft in his hatchback? No, no, no. No, that was Mike. Gotcha. 
No, oh, yeah, that's Mike right. The yeah, hatchback. drinking the beer. Yeah, yeah. The hatch- Mike is. I was uh, very distracted by that raft. <laughs> I could not get over that. That's actually. That's a. I mean, well, before you had any idea. inflatable that's all mattress, you got, are you, you're telling me in '88 they didn't have inflatable air mattresses. I don't think they did. I I don't, I don't believe know. that. Maybe somebody but said maybe at some they were point, more like, expensive. We should do. Like, hey, you can spend thirty dollars <laughs> on an inflatable mattress, or you can spend ten dollars on a raft. Get a pool floaty. That's more comfortable because than a raft. Because it seems to me actually in the '80s people would actually put real mattresses like yeah that right yeah that seems better vans or whatever yeah. Just yeah. pick up trucks. Then somebody said, hey, let's put a wagon. raft. Mm-hmm. And then somebody said, hey, why don't we make an inflatable mattress? Boom. Mm-hmm. Just put it's a bed in there. Mm-hmm. And some lights. Mm-hmm. And put some shag balls. carpeting on the wall. Oh, <laughs> yes. Red shag carpeting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was part, mm-hmm. of the, part of the package. Mm-hmm. I thought of another missed clown opportunity. When they were in the yeah. drugstore, why was there, like, I don't know what this movie's rated, but why was there not a PG-13, scene? PG-13, I okay. think. I'm why not would... sure if that's a retrofit. Somebody said, fuck. They said it once. They, they said it you once. Can, you and get it was one. kind of barely. Yeah. You get one. Everyone gets one. one. Yeah. <laughs> Why was there not a scene of them like opening uh, like a condom and blowing it up like an animal balloon? Uh, uh, right? Especially at the drugstore. Yeah. This uh, is a at missed the drug opportunity. Store. Missed opportunity. Very and they're true. literally opening everything on the shelves for like an this hour. Is very yeah. true. Yeah. It is. It's, it's not long. like they were in there for a second. We cut back to it several times. I did I did appreciate that the last time they cut back to it. They show that the clown is actually stacking things on the right, counter like as he's if he's going to buy, buy some them. Shit. Yeah, I did appreciate that. That was that's the best way to end that joke. Yeah, and there was a and lot of was, chewable and vitamins. And he literally in there. just like stared at him like he was waiting for his total. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah I did a, appreciate. He's got that. like a beanie hat yeah. on with yeah. a spinner. Yeah. Do you think that the movie is uh, there's no condom joke because it's aimed at children? How can it be? I know. This yeah, is what I'm saying. A, yeah. I don't know. Is it like some weird thing where like we're basically going to make a clean movie? Yeah. Uh, you know, the kids can watch. That's is why it, it feels like, Canadian. Is it a gateway <laughs> horror movie? You know, like this one's not too scary. And like, if you like this, we can, you know, eventually you go further down the. I mean, I they did. So. They did have different standards I don't in the eighties. This is, you know, I mean, but I mean, it's an, you know, yeah. it's a conversation. To in have the eighties, they, they had more outrageous stuff. You know, they had full boobs that's what I'm and saying. swamp they had thing. That's rated PG. Right. That's that's they had different standards back then, so maybe. Right. And there yeah. are no boobs or anything in this movie. They do the, as far as as gory as it gets is they punch a dude's head off. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's the worst yeah. it gets as far that's as a year like, before it, Jason did the same move. Right, like exactly. And it, it's a little like gooey looking when they when they open the cocoons and see like their faces right. and the arms sticking out. It's a right. little they look a little bloody, but that's yeah. about it's as sticky. far as they go. The sticky, movie's yeah. very sticky, it's very sticky. But, yeah, they're just stained pink. Because <laughs> Everything of the looks candy. like it's covered in jam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. jellies and jams. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe, but yeah, yeah. it is a PG thirteen. So. Can we talk about the guy that gets killed by like the puppet booth? Because I don't understand oh why my, that, that is like out of ever happened. Who is that guy? What? Because I've He's seen him in a, a bunch of other guys things. Going for a why walk are we supposed to care park? about him? Same way you care about the girl who answered the door of the pizza man. I understand that. If someone brings pizza to my house, I'm probably not questioning it. What about the one who brought pizza? They're showing up with pizza, you know? It's showing that there is a population in the town. Right. But this guy, it's a nightlife. It's very strange because it's a guy who's probably like 29 years old. And Walks he's into like, a gazebo. Just like walking through town. Oh, there's he's a gazebo in the puppet the, show. The I'm going to check well, this the big out. Top burger. I don't, the, he's I don't walk think they the do. They even show. Well, they don't. No, show. no, no they show walking into the gazebo, <laughs> and then yeah, like he saw something. He's like, "What's that?" Yeah, but then like, but then they like wave him in, and he's like, "Oh no, I can't!" Like he's too shy to do it. And, like, you're like, an adult. No, I'm an adult. <laughs> it's like <laughs> kids. And you should feel that way because you are fucking thirty years yeah. old, and this is a a puppet show with no one else around, no yeah. one yeah. else watching it. But he's literally, he might literally be us because he's like. <laughs> Because he's walking into a thing that's like, this is bullshit and this is for kids. And then he yeah. ends up laughing at some shit. Yeah. Like, that is us watching this movie. That's true. That's a good like, point. That is the Maybe representation he's of it. supposed to be a lot more drunk than he was. Like, if they would have put a beer something. bottle that in That would have been better. Cause he, yeah, that's what they should have done. Especially one that would be wrapped in yes. like, uh, the, right. the, the paper, paper bag. bag. I, yeah. I would yeah. very much buy I'd a drunk buy guy stop yeah. yeah. yes. might have been better, yes. But, like, like okay, if I, I'm just thinking if I'm walking down the street, like, it's like, you know, when you walk in big cities downtown you see street performance you're like oh god don't make eye contact because they're gonna like corner you and then they're gonna ask for money and they're gonna like yeah. you know that was my thought I see this I'm oh, walking right. the fucking other way because I know I'm gonna get roped into this thing and they're gonna like ask for change or for money or something like there's no way I'm getting out of this by just watching it <laughs> right like, puppet show I'm walking up to it there it is I'm yeah. probably gonna walk up to it because if it's just happening in the middle of town I'll be like what the fuck is this I gotta yeah. find out what this is you yeah. know what you make a good point I remember, last time I was in Vegas I stopped at 
like three puppet shows. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And there those and those fucking performers are and everywhere. And, and I was just like, oh, what's like, he doing? And like, most of the time, they're Judy awesome. Things, or what are we You've fallen about? into their trip, guys. You're That's, I know. Hey, want. No, but I'm just fine. saying, Sean's right. I would stop. <laughs> right, I'd You're stop. Right. And be like, what's going on here? Nope. What are they doing? I, the yeah. less yeah. people I can engage with on a normal day, the better. No, I need to see. I need to see that fucking skeleton dancing around. Yes, because somebody's puppeteering that shit. So we've retro. We've kind of made peace with the fact that this guy stops. At this yeah, I'm, yeah. All, I'm all for right. this I'm guy. Even yeah. if no one else yeah. is watching, you guys are stopping. You don't think anything's up with that? Nobody else is no, around? Oh, no, no. Look at it. It's like, if Judy, nighttime. I think, like, vaporizes that's, punch that's with a laser That's more reason gun. for concern yeah. that it's nighttime. Ah. Nighttime is more reason yeah. for concern. <laughs> Yeah. I probably still stop. <laughs> but it is late enough that the ice I might cream murdered, truck. I was going to say, you're all going to get mugged, and yeah, I won't feel bad because you I'm owned up stopped. to it here. Oh, no, I'm probably going to get mugged. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The ice cream truck vendors are still driving around at this time of night, whatever it is, like trying to sell their yeah. wares. Yeah. So, I mean, they're extremely optimistic, or there is actually, like, you know. I or mean, they're just bad at it. They're just I, bad I mean, at this business. Are. Yeah, but they've yeah. got guys yeah. like this wandering around through this park. I mean, it's like an all... Yeah, that, uh, no, yeah, the guy who stopped for the puppet show stopped for ice cream. They should park outside <laughs> the bar at yeah. bar clothes as if they were smart. That's what they would do. Yeah. Well, I mean, they would. I'd well, be you like, can't stop outside the, uh, yeah. what was it, the Big Top Burger, which yeah. has candy. I like the way it had candy oh, dishes right like in, in, the, uh, in the door. Burgers sound good right now. It does sound really good. Or the clowns are trying to attract the little girl to come out. After these messages, we'll be right. <laughs> Cut, and we're gonna go get burgers. Yeah, go get burgers, come back. <laughs> mm-hmm. Makes you hungry. Mm-hmm. Somehow, killer clowns in outer space got I you. Mean, the burgers. There was a lot of food in this movie. Yeah, that's true. Pop- popcorn, popcorn, popcorn and candy, some popcorn. Pizza. You've got yeah. uh, killer clowns drinking the blood of people out of their silly there straws. Is that Kool Aid. Yeah. Yeah. I never. <laughs> I, I remember you viewing this as a younger person. Um, that uh, I never thought it was blood. It always felt. Like, oh, yeah? oh the, yeah. No. Yeah. That never popped. I would, no. I was just focused on the si- the silly straw. Yeah, yeah, that was maybe the crazy straw. Uh, like, that crazy oh, straw. Awesome. It's really cool. crazy. I wasn't. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. I didn't. Yeah, people being in those was never yeah. a thought I had. Didn't when think I about it. Watched. Yeah. Hmm. Well, he's got a big straw. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, yeah. oh, that's funny. He's a clown. Yeah. That's all I took from it. <laughs> I get it now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's horrifying <laughs> now. You guys horrifying. are falling under the spell of this movie. You really are. Yeah. Well, yeah. or maybe the things that, you know, just the childlike wonderment of clowns. <laughs> Do you have that, though? That's no, I've never, I've never had See, that. I don't know. Never. It's never been I mean, a thing. But I've, think always, maybe... I've always just been like, there's something not right about people who do that, is my yeah. thought. It's like people who choose to be clowns have a chemical imbalance. Yeah, it's kind of been my thought. When like, I was a kid, though, because, I mean, I had, like, you know, there was more Ronald McDonald seemed like he was on TV a lot more than he is now. Or yeah. I'm not watching oh, yeah. the right well, they, shows. They, they, no, they no, don't. Yeah. They, they avoided doing that because it was considered, like, predatory towards children to, like, brainwash children into wanting McDonald's because a clown was associated mm-hmm. with it. So they uh, stopped. They backed away Grimace from that. Yeah, they backed away the from all that. Yes. Yeah. Yep. And yeah. The, whoever the female version of... Uh, the bird? Yeah. yeah, the bird. Was it bird? What was her name? I don't remember. I don't her know. Name. I remember the bird. No, no one ever talks about the fry, the fry no, kids. Remember. Remember. Bird. Yeah, I remember. The fry kids. Yeah. 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 The fry kids. Yeah. Are these kids made Mayor of McCheese. The, Mayor Mayor McCheese. Mayor McCheese. Yeah. <laughs> the, the Fry Kids. We are all like, here for Mayor McCheese. <laughs> oh, yeah. The Fry Kids just look like little cheer, cheerleader pom poms with like eyes on them. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Now, all right. Yeah. I remember yes. those. Yeah. All right. Gotcha. Yeah. I'm yeah. there. So that still doesn't exist. I no, no, it doesn't. They, they've they've recently kind of scrubbed all that. No, that actually has like a sculpted. That's an artifact of a past. Right. Those are the only things. that Yeah. Because I've seen. Like you can sit next to them. I think. Oh, I think that's. I think they do that. Yeah. As like part of like Ronald McDonald House kind of uh, thing, right. like unless you go yeah. unless you go to like Florida where they haven't changed anything in fifty years, yeah, which really? might still exist. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, it's an artifact of time. Oh, but I mean, if you notice, like the McDonalds have been changing over their like the building design quicker than any other franchise. Yeah, like, sure. like Wendy's and Burger King are when, yeah, very doing slowly doing, doing, doing it, it but yeah. McDonald's is doing it a lot quicker than other franchises. No, McDonald's, <laughs> like, dude, I went to McDonald's in like Schaumburg not too long ago, and it was like a fucking nightclub in there. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, very minimalist. Jesus. It's very industrial and minimalist now. <laughs> I hate it. Design? Right. You want to get a burger and do ecstasy? Come yeah. to McDonald's. <laughs> like, that's where they're at right now. I remember like 20 years ago when they first started doing it, and I was like, I saw McDonald's with curtains for the first time, and I flipped out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, was that it on 
those, like, on those loud this. metal rings or yeah. you're just like yeah. oh I'd my love God. to find like an old timey McDonald's right. go to Florida yeah. Yeah. okay well, it's I'm in sure like Florida I'm telling yeah. you when they would have like that recently before they went to the before they changed to be the bistro or whatever yeah it's all old it's all old they had like outside the player they had like the little seating where it was like sitting on a mushroom and your table was like a tree and shit yeah I think they're scrubbing to play places from a lot of them too well that's not yeah they are not many of them have them anymore for kids or less all right wait wait right you catch we did watch this movie sorry McDonald's tangents all the unvaccinated kids go to McDonald's and you catch some shit it's because we're hungry we're talking about McDonald's I know we are all very hungry right now look Colin we just want a quarter pounder that's all we want all right and this break is brought to you by wow that was like a free McDonald's commercial wasn't it like getting me a beer what would you like a Miller 64 please can you just give me one of those lazy nuts I'll try it. See if there it's you good. go. Thanks. Lazy mutt. All right, tell it, me about the music in, in this in movie. Of eating, it's awesome. Drink more. That's Why is it awesome? Because it's very 80s and Because it's uh, just a guitar version of... I thought there were two decent themes in this. There's the crazy theme song, right, by the Dickies, the Killer right. Clowns from Outer Space. Of course. Killer Clowns. Mm-hmm. And then... There's that crazy wonk, 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 whatever yeah. as the clowns I'm sorry, did you just do Sanford and Son? Because that's what that sounded like. Like, bop, 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 bop. Was that what they were doing? And this? That's is it like an inversion of Sanford? I don't remember if that's what this was, but you were doing Sanford and Son. You totally were. Bop, 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 Yeah. But I'm fine if that's what they were doing. It's like, it was on repeats at the time. I mean, maybe. They're just stealing shit. All right, so here's an impression that I had of this movie. You tell me if it bears up or not. As I was sitting there listening to the... Okay, so the acting is uh, not uh, Oscar caliber, right? It's very uh, stagey, wooden, whatever you would call it. Stagey? I we'll thought it was you? passable. Like, yeah, it's not. I've, I have seen much worse on many movies I've watched worse, here. So. A lot of it maybe has to do with the dialogue. I was sitting yes. there watching this movie, like trying to imagine what it would be like if you shot this in 1956. Because clearly it has like a, uh, there's this nostalgia factor that mm-hmm. we talked about I think, yep. when we did uh, the Blob episode. Yep. We did the, the 88 version. You can go back a couple weeks and, and listen to that. But there's this nostalgia that the 1980s had for the 1950s. Mm-hmm. And this is like we, you know, it's taking the uh, almost the scenes from a 1950s movie and just shooting them in the 1980s. But yep. it's keeping the dialogue the same as it yeah. would have been in the 1980s. Did you get that impression as well? Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. thinking I was getting more of a um, the Wraith vibe. You know how like the Wraith had some certain things that felt very 1950s about yeah. like, the diner they hung out at the like the like street races and stuff. Like I was thinking like this kind of has that ambiguous kind of feel of like is it the 50s or is it the 80s? Yeah, but even right. I'm saying like the relationships between like you know like the the cop character uh, Dave and uh, Mike when he's taking him out like right, we, you know, I don't believe you about this and like get out of the car I'm going to arrest you. It's like yeah. that scene could exist. You could shoot that as written. Mm-hmm. In 1956, yeah. but it sure. would have played yeah. exactly the same. Yeah. It's the wonderful thing about like those two decades because they share a lot of similarities, and you can I don't know what happened and why we went from there and then went back around to it when we got to the 80s, but the, they share a lot of similarities where you can just do that stuff. You mm-hmm. just update certain things. And- I, th- I think it, once you hit the 80s, people started having that nostalgia like for that simpler time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I because think that's the 80s really became when it too to complicated. In. Like we're, yeah. like, we're like, we just, like, honestly, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I mean, sure, it, I'm sure it did. Yeah. Yeah. There was yeah. a lot of shit going on. Well, you were exactly. going to be nuked at any minute, right. ducking cover drills Well, and just even stuff. look on, like, a micro level, look how complicated the fashion was just in the yeah. 80s alone. Like, yeah. you know, like, everything was complicated about the 80s. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's, I think that's when it started. Everyone's like, man, there's so many fucking drugs in the economy, and we're going to get nuked. I miss and the fucking 50s. Yeah. 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 <laughs> exactly. Remember uh-huh. we used to go get, like, Coke floats at <laughs> yeah. the drive-in and find they hit the box remember and we, we were all happy. They just they, they do some coke and like, Not remember, do you remember sock hops? God damn it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we'll bring it great. all back. Yeah. We're going to bring it all back in our movies yeah. and it'll make you feel. I'm just uh, wearing a leather jacket. Not nostalgia. It's a, more of like a comfort thing, right? Yeah. Comfort I mean, yeah. blanket. But this is it the is. thing. I, I mean, think that, that, like, I mean, that can be one and the same. Nostalgia is like, if you looked up a different like definition for nostalgia, it's comfort. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like that's, what that, that's what that means. Yeah. Now. But the, the blob, you know, uh, the remake, yeah. uh, Night of the Creeps, and this yep. maybe you know if we're talking about these kind of direct I mean the thing remake obviously is also another well, sure, yeah. but uh, they don't I don't think like the thing isn't playing to nostalgia 
Um, mm-hmm. The Blob, I don't think, is so much playing to nostalgia. It is trying to like modernize the concept. Right. Night of the Creeps is obviously playing to nostalgia, but it's still got like an '80s edge to it. Yeah. That it's a contemporary, yeah. but this one feels like out of time. Yes. This one feels like a softer '50s movie. Yeah. You know, it's just shot in the '80s, and it's got cooler looking production design and uh, animatronic effects and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Yeah. <clears throat> Which is weird. I mean, that's what makes it kind of like. Yeah. Right. Unusual, as yeah. Because well. yeah. it's like it's simple, it's colorful. I think that is another part of it. Because it's just going like big, broad colors and all that shit. Mm-hmm. I think that's another part of it. Do you get the impression that I do that the end of this movie, well, the interiors of the the spaceship are yeah. cheap? I don't, oh yeah. I, I honestly was kind of surprised at the production value of this movie. I thought as it looked in, a lot better than I okay. remember. Right. Like I feel like if 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 it didn't. I don't necessarily think it looked better, but it went, it extended beyond where I thought it was going to go. Like, in in stuff like this, I expect to see, like, two hallways, and we keep going down oh, yeah. those hallways. Yeah. Yeah. But they actually, like, we built this hallway, we built this hallway, and then we built this whole big chamber full of, like, clown <laughs> shit. Like, yeah, but they, they kept it, going with didn't it, they which do, was surprising. Like, I mean, aside from the, the extensions with the matte, you know, paintings or whatever, right. the miniatures, there's a lot of... Uh, and this is the thing I think that always bugs me about, um, you know, lower budget movies. And I think this had like a $2 million budget or something. But yeah. you get a stage, you turn all the lights off, right? And then you yeah. bring in like the three pieces yes. of set design. Yes. yes. And then they run the fog machine over the floor, right. uh-huh. which I thought was a good I- idea. Because that way you can't see the studio floor. Or right, whatever. right. Yeah. But it's like basically there's a void, you know? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, they void. walk down a set of stairs from a void. Yeah. I'm like, there's yeah. a pole in the way. For a specific reason <laughs> yeah. in a scene. Yeah. I feel like it's hard to make clown stuff look high end. I feel like just yeah. the That's nature of clown stuff looks cheap true. and tacky. Right, because so. if you're dealing with clowns, you so are yeah. the subject. It's just is, funny, though, because yes. at one point they're, they're walking across the floor, and I don't remember what speci- I don't remember how it was set up at that point, but there was like geometric shapes on the floor. And one of them kicked one of them. Like I thought they were, oh, yeah. pa- I thought I they were painted that. on the floor, but yeah. they weren't. What they it like slid, yeah. it like slid across the floor. <laughs> that was kind of like the. I think it was the same stuff that they used in that gag with the clown footprints. They leave, I think so. You know, like these rubber or whatever. That was kind of funny. Yeah, things. just like yeah. stick it down. Yeah. But a dude kicked one. It of them. kicked yeah. and it slid across the floor. I'm like, oh yeah. yeah you were really they trying on this. Reusing that, glue it down. You're really reusing that set, aren't you? Yeah. Well, it has. I mean, it's a low budget movie, obviously, where like all the car collisions, and it seems like there's a lot. Of them, there you are. don't actually see any of them happen because, right. like, we can't damage any of these cars, no. kind of thing. So they're just, they're just all of a sudden going, touching, oh! yeah, yeah, and then they're touching, and then we've got, you know, <laughs> right. there's no damage, smoke, but they're so, yeah. touching, blowing out from under <laughs> yeah. the hood or whatever, yeah, yep, you can't ruin this car. It's gonna yeah. go back to the police station on Monday. Well, yeah. they said, and I think, uh, one of the uh, famous things about this movie was, well, famous in the making of it, the uh, that car with the guy who was ri- the, when the clown was riding alongside him, yeah. He goes over a bridge. Oh yeah, that yeah, was yeah. supposed to like be at top fucking speed as he, you know, like shot. <laughs> yeah, with, yeah. And he just went and yeah. went straight down. You know, and then they're like, "Well, crap!" So no retakes, right? It's like nope. that was your yeah. car, your one shot. Yeah, was it? Oh, yeah, that car's ruined. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, are, okay. was it? So was the whole point of them coming here and harvesting humans just for sustenance, like daybreaker? Spoilers for Daybreakers, uh, a movie that no one should watch anyway. So don't worry about it. Um, the Ethan Hawke vampire. Movie? Yeah, yeah, it's yes. really bad that like yeah, they just really are bad. harvesting Wait, is humans. Is Willem also in that Yes, movie? yeah, yeah. Yep. That's what I thought. Did they like the Spirit Brothers who did the latest Saw movie? Oh did so? yeah. Wait, did the Spirit Wait, Brothers they? do? Yeah, they did two movies recently. But they did the Predator vs. Alien. Mm. No, that was the not the Hughes brothers. It was the something brothers. Okay, there were other, but it was brothers. The okay. brothers, a something. different brothers. Sure, yeah. <laughs> a different brothers. And so they're just using them for like sustenance, like in Daybreakers, how they just raise humans and harvest Feels them like for it. blood. Yeah, they just came or, here. But like, are they? Do they fuel the ship? Like a Matrix thing? Like they're like batteries? Or are they just for food? I think they're I just. Re- I think I, the the ter- what the Terenzi Teren- Teren- Yeah, was it Terenzi? Terenzi brothers. The Terenzi brothers Paul. got it right. I think so too. I was just gonna say right, that because the morons yeah. always get it right. <laughs> yeah. 
But like, they maybe literally... they just stopped by the planet for a snack. It's like, that's exactly yes, what they did. That's exactly what they did. Yes. I was the just moron, say, it was just it right. a snack, they took a fuck ton of people for just a snack. There's well, a lot you know, of yeah, but they got like, 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 It takes a long time to get right. from planet well, There's like 30 planet. clowns and giant boss clown. Yeah, right. So, yeah, they, so they got to make a lot of yeah. cotton candy sacks. They, they literally up. stopped at 7-Eleven on a road trip. Right. So why did why did the main girl get put in a gumball or a balloon then? Why is she special? Because it's a creature feature and you got to take the pretty girl instead of killing her. Why? Yeah, 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 but why not make well, them like dig through a bunch of cotton but, candy? But they kill everybody. Who's in, you're dead if you're in the cotton candy. Right. Thing. Yeah. Well, I, and I think it's a different kind of. But snack. we haven't like, seen they anybody wanna else. Her, like, they want to cook her like a chicken and like eat her. Okay. Different sure. Pieces. sure. I don't. We like, have, have no, no reason idea. to think sure. that, but okay. <laughs> sure. No. No <laughs> idea. Yeah. But it's gotta I be something. What, but I see what Michaela's is getting at. Yeah. You could have made it so like you get put in the cotton candy sack and you're not dead. You kind of like you know it sucks all your your vital fluids out or whatever. Yeah. And you wither away and then you know. Or something. But, if you get but they out, don't. Right. They like they kill people and then put them in the sack. So once you've established that, but we can't kill our heroine. Yeah. But we have to abduct her. So figure out some yeah. protagonists a have a uh, you know we got to get in there and rescue her. It just seems lazy because then it's an easy way for your protag- protagonist to find her. There's no effort and put it in like finding her. They just know they have yeah. to look for right. a fucking balloon. You know, you know? Been cool. I agree. Yeah. There's not a whole lot of. Effort yeah. Effort put you know what would have been cool. Because uh, they have different guns that turn people into different shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If they had uh, a weapon that turned people into a uh, balloon version of themselves that they could then fold up and do some shit with, or, where the balloon version looked like them. Yeah. Or it was um, those like punching ones, like the punching clown. The like. <laughs> oh yeah. The ones know, what are those called? Or, uh, or like the know. ones that like uh, when you go to like Chuck E. Cheese and you shoot the skee balls and it knocks down those like yeah. bag clowns with yeah. like face oh, yeah, yeah. on it. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. I thought the uh, whatever the, the balloon, you know, the whatever the animals that they did have, that was kind of yeah. cool. They made a little dog, and then that was their hound I loved dog. That. Right, that was that funny. Was pretty good. Yeah, yeah I liked they had that. on a leash, but it was just like a stiff leash. Yeah, yeah. Like, lead it around and everything. But the effects of the dog sniffing were really cool. That was actually yeah. Good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh, I dug that. And then yeah. they leaned down. So what was that? Just good. string like on the end of it, right? right but they Probably. Hit it very well, yeah, it looks really good. Yeah, they pull it down to sniff and everything, and then it goes up. But the movements are really good and like subtle, though. You know, like when it's sniffing. It might be from the way they were bit? shooting it. It may mm-hmm. have been all from the side. Oh, that's right. could have been. The camera, because yeah. you can pull it down, and then you can yeah. have it go up. Yeah, because yeah. it literally was, like, directly. Right, right yeah. on the yeah. Right on it. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Well, so we're going back to our applause for practical. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. It's like we watched the magic show. Mm-hmm. Right yeah. There oh, yeah, for, there's certain things that we, pull off that, you <laughs> yeah. know, like, hey, that was there on set that day. I appreciate yeah. them doing that. Yeah. Whether well, I appreciated the foreshadowing of uh, you can let them make a dummy out of you, Dave. But they're not going to make a dummy out of me. And then oh, they but make they him will. into a hand puppet. Oh, that was they fantastic. Do. So yeah. the old prospector's dog is he just in one of those cotton candy sacks, or did yeah, they make dead. him? In- I'm sorry, yeah. Michaela, he's dead. Yeah, but do they eat dogs too? Like, is that? <laughs> yeah, like, I, just, I have a lot of like questions about yeah. this. I feel like they do. what the sustenance yeah, process like, is for like, these clowns. If they're indiscriminate and just like life forms life. on this planet, we'll take. So. You know, I think we, so. the There's dog great... is the only thing we see get taken. That's the thing. Well, we don't know what's in some of those uh, yeah. the cotton candy things because there's a scene which I loved where they were. Uh, there's like some big float. They have going down Main Street with yeah. all these yeah. streaming tassel things coming off of it. Streamers? The bring out your dead seat? And, yeah. yeah. And they're throwing <laughs> shit up. Throwing <laughs> all, yeah. They're throwing the sacks out the window. Just like Monty Python. sucking yeah. them up yeah. with this thing. Giant going, vacuum cleaner. They yeah. could have been uh, That's cats wonderful. and dogs. Oh, Those man. are some big sacks for cats and dogs. Because uh, <laughs> they were the same size pets. as all the other ones. That's very yeah. true. Well, uh, but that's uh, that was the other thing. I'm just like, when they turned people into cotton candy, I expected like bigger versions and smaller versions. Sometimes there it was just like... was. In one scene, yeah. where it was in a the, bigger version. In the hangar where they've got yes. them all, and yeah, yeah, a with, couple different ones. I'm just yeah, like, there was, is, there was they one, all turn the same size. There was one point when they were crowded around one section, and there was like a, a significantly smaller one, and then a bigger one. They were varying in size in that moment. I don't know if they just didn't for the rest of them, but hmm. at one point they did. I think that small one was like, this is the last of the wrapping that we have. Yeah, probably. probably. <laughs> probably. That's all we have left. <laughs> this is the small one that we have. Yeah. It's like when you wrap a present for like Christmas or something, and it's like the scrap end of a paper, right. and you're like, Just fuck, like, I gotta make yeah, this, this fit. fit. Yeah. Yeah. And there's that one line of <laughs> yeah. brown cardboard, because yeah. it wouldn't fit all the way over. It's like, that's the bottom. Yeah. We'll just wrap the rest Just, of just it keep it this way, you know? Right. Yeah, don't yeah. look at the bottom. <laughs> it's, it's not good. 
<laughs> well, how do we? Uh, how do you over. defeat a killer clown? What's the, the nose, man? The nose, the nose. Man. The Clowns are always about the nose. That's apparently. where their power is, <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, these <laughs> Seems are like I, a bad place to put it. Sure does. Right, right in front of everything. The, the Terenzi brothers actually figured out like the origin of these things, but I kind of like the idea they're throwing around these ideas that like maybe this is why we ha- think of clowns like this is because they used to come to the planet like you know years ago or whatever. <laughs> what was there a modern movie? I saw this called Clown. Eli Roth oh, produced it. I didn't and, see like, it. Yeah. Guy yeah. finds a clown suit. They were actually cloins back in the old Scandinavian I hate that. days. Oh, oh just, okay. No, no. Oh, fuck fuck this movie. Yeah, they were evil creatures that lived in uh, uh, caves. So, oh, so it's like no. Krampus. It's yeah. like Cinder Claus. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm good. I don't. No, nah, gotcha. I, I, no, no reason to watch that now. No, nah. so. I'm good. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, thanks though. <laughs> oh, yeah. And actually, I don't think it was a bad movie. The uh, having we'll it. never know. Yeah, it mm-hmm. wasn't too bad. And I'm trying to think of the mm-hmm. actor. It's been like there. the third time tonight. Colin's been like recap something for us, and we're like, okay, cool. Won't be uh, watching that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've thanks got a few for saving time, Colin. Yeah. I mean, now you can't because like Netflix puts out like twenty thousand movies a week. I mean, who can keep up with all this? Shit? Some, sometimes, if true. you guys ever seen a Netflix synopsis that straight up just like spoils whatever you're about yeah. to watch, yeah. or it's or it's horrible. Inaccurate to the point that you're like they don't even know what this show. I don't is. trust yeah. anything. I don't. On I that don't. I, the last I have never. I don't think I've, I have not recently in the past like three years read a Netflix synopsis for anything. They, if I'm going on Netflix, cover? if I'm going for Netflix, I know what I'm going for. Like I, I have uh, not explored. No, I'm just saying Netflix like actually, I'm, I'm just saying stuff way. I've yeah. seen though, like stuff I've already seen oh, yeah. that I know and about, and I'm like that's like, not accurate. Uh, or yeah, like yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. like for a long time, the cover image for uh, Planet of the Apes was the Statue of Liberty head. Oh, the cover oh, image was that because that was on the VHS. Yeah, oh really? That's a bad choice. Yeah, that's always been like selling image. That's a bunch of not smart people. And we just, uh, you know, did it right there. I guess they assume that at some point, like, everyone should have seen this by now. Right, yeah, that's on the cover now, because it's just like, everyone knows this. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. They they know people know that line, but they don't know what the movie is. They're like, we got to put the line on the cover so people know that it's this movie they should buy. Yeah. Yeah, because if they didn't, they'd be like, is it people? I have to watch. (laughs) (laughs) I have to find out. Did that fuck people up back in the, have you seen this movie? It's on the green. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yep. I wonder if, I like, at so. that Probably. moment, everybody was like, oh, my God, you know. <laughs> that was my best uh, chart, <laughs> Charlton world. Huston. Um, is there anything else we need to say about Killer Clowns from <laughs> Outer Space before we go to uh, get our mail and then come back for our wrap-ups? Well, I don't think so. Um, there's uh, they also, the, you know, the big top explodes, and they survive in the small clown car. Well, yeah. well, our, our Rich and Paul character Rich survived Paul. by hiding in the freezer. Everyone yeah. survives in this movie. Yeah, like, yeah. no major character uh, bites it. That's right. very true. Yeah, that's a good point. Except that's for a, fucking uh, the, the cop, the dummy cop. Yeah, oh, nobody yeah. liked him anyway. Yeah, yeah. He was a villain. Yeah. He was basically just I know, a, but he was, a, he was a primary character his, from the beginning. His death uh, was not satisfying enough either. It, no. 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 Well, he is, anymore. aside from the co- uh, the clowns, the primary antagonist of the movie, right? Mm-hmm. Just because he's an authoritative yes. type who doesn't listen to the kids and the kids yeah. actually know what it is. He's a right. dick. But as we were talking about off mic, maybe Spielberg's seen this movie. Maybe he's a fan. <laughs> That's maybe why he put Harrison Ford in the fridge. In, in Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Maybe he got that idea from this movie because we see two characters survive a huge explosion by hiding in a freezer. Yeah. That was a reshoot because uh, apparently the original version had uh, Duder oh, yeah. sacrificing himself. I think people like, died. Yeah, people yeah, died. Yeah. And uh, the producer said, change it. And they said, okay. And hence... But you died. We, I saw you explode. Right. No, we hid out in the freezer. Yeah, that's <laughs> I was going to say, but yeah, because in the middle, I'm like, did they just die? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, all right. Can't have people die in a horror movie. That would be a shame, right? I know. That's, that's why I'm saying. Is it a horror movie? Mm-hmm. After all, I guess we'll find out. Maybe so. when we go around the room and give you our, will you, well, should you or should you not watch Killer Clowns from Outer Space? Uh, but first of all, we're going to answer some of your mail. And to do that, we're going to summon Igor. Bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Thank you, Igor. Thanks, Igor. What's he's, Igor's clown name? Because he's got his clown nose on and all that shit. He's Does got he a little trail of popcorn following him, too. I don't like that. That's weird. What? Why would you say that? <laughs> <laughs> he's rather slimy, though. He's not very dusty. That? <laughs> okay. That's, that's, no. Sure. 
Read the right. mail. Listeners, tell us what Igor's clown name is, please. Yeah. Yeah. With the clown name. Well, you can write to us to tell us this, listener, on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. On Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. By email. Saturday Night Freak Show, Yahoo.com. Or on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. Oh, yeah. And also uh, tune in for the, uh, we've shot some uh, some little stories uh, for you yep. that you can watch of our us watching Saturday Night Freak Show. Watch us Tune watch things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Social media. Uh, Nick Hammond writes in about Killer Clowns from Outer Space. I my only it. question is... It. What? I bet he loved it. He said, my only question is, why did it take so long to get this classic on the Freak Show? Question mark. Question mark. I assume, we were talking about this yeah, earlier. Yeah, we all Mika- assumed. Mikhail and I both assumed this movie had already been done. Because yeah. I, I wanted to do this a while ago. I thought you already did it. See? Yeah, and it, yeah. to me, it felt like too on the nose. It's like, of course we this would do that. This is a Saturday Night Freak yeah. Show kind of movie. It is. Of course it, yeah. Right, but if you want to see like, on the nose stuff, tell us. But it's one know? of those movies that feels like it's too well known to be in. Like, everyone knows Everyone knows Killer Clowns from Outer Space. At least the title, everyone. if nothing right, else. The title, yeah. yeah. Everyone. And, and it I, felt like it was just like, ah. And I think we should do those movies. Yeah. I, I, think I, so. don't, sure. I, don't, I don't think we Give should the avoid them. what they want. Yeah. You it guys just, want to watch it, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it just felt like, uh, yeah, well, yeah, sure, we'll do that. Obviously, we'll do yeah. that. And then we just never did it. It's just one of those That's movies. why they say, like, why is it taking so long for these movies? Which is I why. Did something else. And I was like, oh, I was hoping you would get to this. Which is yeah, why a couple months ago I said, blob? start telling me what movies you think. Why hasn't yeah, the Freak Show done this us. yet? Because we want to do them. We yeah. will take suggestions, yeah. please. Holly's got a list going. I do. Yeah, we, we, <laughs> some we of us have been doing lists. this for five years. Our lists are getting thin. <laughs> What's that movie uh, about the nuns on the roller skates that Roller Tom Blade wanted? or something? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, one day. Uh, that's one, coming. One I was day. I was thinking about that. I was I was actually wondering, Tom, do we know do we know when Tom's getting married? Because I wanted to do it as like a wedding present. <laughs> He's getting married in October. October? Oh. Yep. There is it is. it going to be in time for a 300th episode? Because yeah, he's Aww. not. Because he doesn't get that. No. I'm sorry. That goes to a specific movie. Sorry, I have Tom. an idea for a 300th episode. Ooh. No, okay. Isn't stupid. Off mic. No. No, no, off mic. Off mic. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, DJ Mathis, 12, writes in. All right. And says, I saw this when I was probably four. I used to watch it all the time. And I had dreams that I was hiding from the clowns while they drank from the dead body balloons. Traumatized me yeah. for a long time. Sure. Probably I mean, you see that. Yeah. Yeah. As someone who is traumatized by Ernest Scared Stupid, I mean, that's like the parallel version of yeah. this. So I understand that. Yeah, for sure. Get it. All traumatized yeah. Is it a movie? kid's movie? I, I mean, it, it kind it of is be, like yeah. the companion to Ernest Scared Stupid mm-hmm. in that sense. It could be sense. just a kid's movie. Yeah. 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 Except they say fuck. They do say fuck. Yeah. Unless you're okay with that as a parent. then you know, hey. If they say it once, your kid's probably not going to notice. Yeah. Honestly, as a parent, if you don't freak out, the kid's not going to notice. Yeah, they'll be fine. They won't know like, anything's yeah. wrong if yeah, you act like, like everything's yeah, they fine. they said fuck, but you don't get to say that. Is so, it a kid's know. movie now? No. But back in the 80s, yeah, probably. Mm-hmm. Definitely, yeah. Back in the 80s, it was definitely a kid's movie. Yeah. Well, all right. Let's find out if you should show it to your kids as we go around the room and tell you what we thought of it, starting with... Sean. Thank you, somebody. Um... <laughs> Can't just yell my own name. You you can. No yeah, one's gonna can. stop you. You know what? I can and I have. It has oh, been done. Oh, oh, I have yelled oh, my own name. Poor, poor, oh, poor man. Oh. Wait, what? What? I don't understand. You had, to, you had to yell your yeah. own name. That's not good. Yeah. Oh, that's that's yeah. that's, that's, weird. that's weird. I feel I'm gonna leave. All right, what'd you, <laughs> what'd you think of this movie? <laughs> You're gonna leave and go get a burger, huh? Yeah. Uh, oh, killer clowns from outer space. Um, it's been a long time since I've seen this movie. Um. I don't know. I think it is. Uh, it's uh, it's kind of slow, uh, from what I remember it being. Um, I don't know. Maybe it is a kids' movie. Um, I don't know. I think I'm gonna pass on Killer Clowns. There it is. I'm, wow, just, no I'm thoughts, just gonna sit here. Huh? I'm just you're, gonna, you're, I have. I lost for words right now. I don't have many thoughts on this movie. I think there's some jokes that are just like really corny and shitty and just like all right i appreciate but you, what you laughed at them i know but you I'm, laughed. I'm saying i did laugh and i'm just like there's something just like all right i appreciate that that was pretty good um but other than that i'm just like eh, i don't know I, I i don't feel i ever need to watch killer clowns from out of space ever again mm-hmm. um so it's so funny because we've watched movies 
that it just seems like you really hated everything about it and then you recommend it and the yeah. movies that yeah. you like audibly enjoy you're <laughs> right. just like nah don't watch this movie he's a walking conundrum it's, yep. it's a man weird. of mystery I know you never <laughs> I'm know I'm done chaos. trying to understand I don't it. understand <laughs> continue I know I did recommend I was just like we watched Possession I was just like I recommend this movie and I'll tell <laughs> you that's why. exactly what I'm thinking of I'm like how <laughs> whatever finish your rep <laughs> um, I don't know it is uh, it's a, it's a uh, Killer Clown is a, is a trip back to childhood um, and so I mean maybe uh, I'll say if you haven't watched it in 20 years you could probably give it a watch just to be like oh yeah this and yeah oh yeah that and that was pretty funny um, but uh, I don't know it's it's pretty slow um, I, I will say I, maybe it would have been more ridiculous had they tried to, to explain like where the clowns came from because every other movie of like kind of like this they'll try and explain like oh these uh, the aliens came from here and this is what they're doing and everything um, I mean with this movie we just kind of get into like all right clowns are terrorizing the world and all that stuff um, I don't know I don't know I don't think I can recommend it it's it, uh, yeah it's a conundrum I laughed at elements of this movie but eh. I don't know. There were a few and far between. I don't think I can recommend Killer Clowns from Outer Space. I don't have I don't have that affinity for it. And there it is. Pass. <laughs> <laughs> I pass on this one. Yeah, Michaela, what do you think? Uh, I think that I mean, there's a couple of ways, like minor improvements. I think you could make onto this movie. Um, I mean, they introduced at one point in time that the cop Dave, Dave, right? Dave, Dave. Uh, that he is. They watch is, Dave. Is, is Deb's ex-boyfriend and mm-hmm. you think that's going to be like a big source of tension between her current boyfriend and ex-boyfriend not really I think and I mean the only thing it really comes to a head at is like when they go to see find the big top tent and then there's nothing there so he like he's like oh you murdered all those people and arrests him for absolutely <laughs> no reason mm-hmm. but I'm thinking like a better way to create tension between those two is make him a street tough. Make him like one of the street make toughs. Make him Kevin been, Dillon? Yeah, That's make him want. Kevin you Dillon. You want Kevin Dillon. Well, I'm just saying like you introduce two street toughs at the beginning of this movie and you say they are fucking everything up in this town. I, I wrote down, it's scum like you that are killing this town is what the cop says to them. And like they get thrown in a cell or in a cell for the whole movie. Why not make her boyfriend one of the street toughs so you have more just cause for why he's responsible for this other than just... She's like, that's the current boyfriend of this girl I used to date, which and that ultimately ends up meaning nothing. So that that was frustrating to me that they introduced this thing that didn't matter at all when there could have been such a more obvious, easier. Yeah, we've seen it before, but it, it would have worked better. Um, but that being said, this is the first time I had ever watched this movie in its entirety. Uh, and I really enjoyed it. I liked it a lot. I thought it was fun. I liked the stupid humor and I liked the, you know, the effects I thought looked really good for the most part. And it was really fun. I liked it. So I would recommend it. Yeah. I had a good time watching it. Mm-hmm. Holly, what'd you think? Um, I, I saw this movie for the first time like eight years ago and I was st- Stoned out of my mind when I watched it. It's probably the and best way to watch this movie. Wonderful way to watch this movie. <laughs> it's gotta be. <laughs> I was sensory experience. Yes, I was yeah. kind like, of ooh, afraid. The colors and the cotton candy. I was kind of afraid that like that was gonna be. I was gonna be like, well, completely sober, not drinking at all, not doing anything. I'm gonna hate this movie. But I was pleasantly surprised that I still really enjoyed this movie. Um, I I feel like I kind of took it just for exactly what it is, like. The, the things that they didn't explain and they didn't go into detail, I'm just like, yeah, whatever. It's fucking clowns from space. Like, I get it. Like, we don't need an explanation for this shit. It's hilarious. I, I wish there was some more uh, play on the jokes. Like, we said, we were all really bothered by the clown car. You could have done so much more with that <laughs> scene. Like, little stuff like that. Like, I wanted more of that. Um, but, like, that's really my only big complaint. I, th- I think it would have been funny if it was more gory. Like the it just like sure you know you've got this comedy aspect of their clowns but it just really bloody like I think that would have been a great contrast I, th- I wish that would have been if it was like dead alive humor yes right? thank dead you alive level gore yes right? exactly because so, like yeah you know, we said we we he the uh, one of them punches a dude's head off which is great and we what, all laugh right yeah. which I think if they had continued on that track yes. And I think that's right. That's maybe where I wanted it to go. Yeah, no, I, I can see that because I wish there had been more of that. I do like the the little aspects. Like we didn't even talk. We didn't talk a lot about the fact that those like popcorn seeds become like little tiny tentacle 
clowns. Like, which is my favorite. Yeah. Thing as far as like bad clown things in this movie, like I like those the best. That was wonderful. I loved that. I and I wish there had been little more things like that. But like that's really my only complaint. I thought it was hilarious. I I thought it was cheesy as fuck. But I thought it worked for this. You know, it's fucking killer clowns from outer space. That's exactly what I anticipated this movie would be like. I agree. The beginning of it is a little slow. Um, but I think it picks up towards the middle and just continues through the end. Like the 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 like fireman clown with the trampoline outside the window. That shit was hilarious. Um, there was there was good stuff. I think it's entertaining. I think it's the perfect freak show movie. I definitely recommend everyone watch it at least once. It's it's a good time. Yeah, for sure. Why don't I like this movie? I don't know. I don't I know. Like, I don't know. It feels I think, like all the ingredients are there, and I should like this movie. I think movie. you really do, and you just decided not to. <sighs> yeah, it feels like That's that. That's what I feel like. Yeah. And I just want you to... His I, higher brain function yeah. is fighting against his lower brain Maybe, function. Maybe. I don't know. No. Something is like, not... But it's stupid. It's stupid. It's, it's, it's really corny stupid. and stupid. But, but that's I like why. stupid. You laughed at yes. the corny and stupid. I, do. I like it. stupid things. Because are funny. how many uh. times during watching this did I mutter to myself, "This is so stupid," and but I was <laughs> so laughing. Stupid. It's so stupid, and, and I'm, I'm doing love it now. It. I don't know why. Well, I think this is always this better. may be something. This may be an ongoing process for me. Oh, so you may I, I, watch I, I Killer Clowns like from Outer Space again, is what you say? Uh, no, I'll think about it oh, more. I, just, I, mean, I will not watch this again. I'll think it. about it and more and chew on it. We yeah. just, next we, week I may come up with an update. Being we like, just, you know the, what? I thought about we it. We just have things that you have to work through, Sean. I guess we just, so. We got to work on it because I should love this. You movie. should love it. I don't. I love it. Michaela loves it. Does Colin love it? Colin, what do you do? You love it. You brought it. Sean, I feel your pain because for many, many years I have not been part of the devoted uh, crowd that loves uh, unconditionally killer clowns from outer space. And so I saw, I've seen this several times. Uh, and uh, at this viewing tonight, I was actually going to pick a different movie, believe mm-hmm. it or not. It was a last minute switcheroo mm-hmm. because uh, uh, of events. And I had picked this up like at the used store because I saw it. And I'm like, well, I'll give this another shot and like one better to watch it than on the free show. So yeah. I haven't, this is a cold watch. Uh, yeah. Um, it still has the same problems that I've always had with it, which I guess is that it is like extremely corny and stupid. I get what, uh, what uh, Sean was saying that, you know, it's slow because uh, of two major sequences. Deb takes a shower that for like six hours yeah, or something like that. They keep ever. cutting back to it. It's like that's the only action that they have to go back yeah. to. And the guy in the um, the convenience store, or the drugstore, right. they keep going also back to it. Also goes on for hours. Because they don't have anything else to fill it with. Yeah. So, but I think, uh, and, uh, you know, I mean, as Michaela's saying, the idea of, uh, you know, updating it and putting in, like, you know, a, a guy who, you know, from the other side of the tracks or whatever, it's like, yeah, it was done in the blob. But that's not a 50s movie. It's like, this is the 50s mentality yeah. just transplanted and put in the 80s. And that's why, like, how well does it work? And, you know, so it's, it is a satire, maybe, on maybe. 50s movie tropes. Maybe. I don't know if it's smart enough to say it's a satire. It's like it's trying to satirize clowns and it's using the skeletal structure of the 50s movie to do it. Mm. But it's like just extracting it from the 50s and going, boom, we're not really going to change anything about it. People behave like they did in the 50s. And that's why the cop and the, you know, it's like you got the wholesome cop and the wholesome boyfriend. Right. You know, there's no Mm. real conflict between them, except like you're dating my girl. You know, she's got my class ring or whatever. the hell. You know, that's a very uh, it's that very kind of it's a very antiquated conflict. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So that's why I'm saying it feels like it's a movie that's out of time. Yeah. There should be more Letterman jackets in this movie. (laughs) Yeah. That's what they needed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. However, okay, so I'm I'm watching the movie tonight, and I'm like, there really is nothing else like this movie, and I think that's why I'm going to recommend it, because I'm sitting there going like, you know, even though we're kind of talking around the room about some of the things that we wish that they would have done more of. You got to watch the movie that you got. Yeah, you kind of have to go like, but mm-hmm. they did put, there's a lot of imagination on display yeah. in the movie that we're watching. That's it's true. like, I mean, this a Shadow Puppet of, ate a bunch of people. Yeah, I, right. I and there's it. imagination in this movie. <laughs> they just were sitting there thinking creativity. about all yeah. this stuff. Yeah, it's a very oh, yeah. creative movie. I get that it's like, it's made by effects guys because they were concentrated on what are the effects that we can do? Here's a list. 
these are the scenes we're going to shoot. Right, and this and is then the like, story around who it. Who cares what that is? It's yeah. like, we're just going to borrow the blob. And the thing comes down from space. The kids are complaining. The adults don't believe them. And eventually the kids end up saving the day. Right. <laughs> Done. Right. Mm-hmm. Yep. We're out of here. So it's uh, it's simple in that way. And, uh, you know, I think, you know, again, maybe you're looking for more, Sean, than, than that. I don't know. Well, I mean, should I be looking for more from a I think movie called Killer a, Clowns from Outer Space? Yeah, I don't think it's a <laughs> horror movie. I think it's a comedy, it, you know, it because it, everything, it seems to me, is like a joke. Mm-hmm. Right. I, no, if it was a horror movie, when the guy got covered in ice cream, he would have melted and you would have seen yeah, like, his screaming, skeleton. Screaming, bloody Screaming, thing. melting, yeah. skeleton melting and but all no, that stuff. But no, he right. puts mm-hmm. a chair That would have made top. it a horror movie, yes. Yeah, it's a it's a comedy that has uh, cool looking animatronic creatures and effects and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I think... Uh, I would recommend it, I guess, this time around, <laughs> even though, like I said, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Well, when will be the next time that I watch it? I think now having it, it's like it's a kind of a it's a relic of a time that doesn't exist anymore. And yeah. there's nothing else like Killer Clowns. Mm-hmm. I know they want to make another one and they've been trying to do it for 30 years. They should. Not. They want to make a TV show because the movie didn't work out. There's going to be Killer Clowns in 3D, whatever. Uh, I'd go remake. watch one well, if they made it. I, I, if they made a full blown movie, a TV show, not necessary. No, no TV. Not show. necessary. A movie, a movie, I'd go watch that. Yeah, know, but yeah. that's what I guess they're kind. Of, I'm kind of like I like the fact that there's this one, and this is the relic. You have to right. go seek it out or find it. Right. And In people, and of itself, we're it talking exists about right it, here. so people will, you know, uh, maybe give it a chance that they mm-hmm. haven't before or whatever. Just go back and find this one. I don't really want to see this done ever again (laughs) you know because i don't need any more killer clowns this is it uh so i would recommend check out killer clowns from outer space rated pg 13 (laughs) for parental guidance suggested I'm just a pro children being. I think that's yeah. You know, I think that's yeah, it. You, you might come around. Who knows? But there's peer pressure. We're trying to no, yeah, hold your ground. I don't think hold I'm gonna. No, I don't think I'm gonna come around. Yeah, I don't think that'll happen. Are you afraid of clowns? We establish. No, this, I'm know? not. Okay, so next week we're watching a movie that's chosen by Michaela. Oh, it's coming back around to Michaela. It really? is. It feels Michaela. like I know, guys. I know it little, felt like it was just my pick, and <laughs> right, you know, yeah. now it's back again. A little schedule rearrangement. Don't question it, guys. Um, <laughs> just, just be happy just about go it. With just, it. Just be happy. Because this happen. makes the summer of canon. Happen. No, it does no. not. No, oh, it does oh, not. Oh, nope. I was going to say. Nope. 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 No, we can we're, slip. We're done. We, we, we're done. Slip, we can slip in some stuff right nope. there. Come on. Nope. We're not doing summer canon. Is done. Is dead? Should we? It might be dead. Is it coming back now? Is it coming back I don't think so. I don't I don't think so. This. Summer it's was the summer not of successful. Avco Embassy. I was gonna say it might be another production company, but it will not sure, be. Sure, let's pick something. TriStar, else. maybe the something you know, like New World Dimension. Pictures. Dimension, Ooh. yeah, Dimension. Oh, oh God. Dimension oh. Summer. What? I, I claim that one. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna claim something. I said dimension. it. God damn it. Okay. Yeah, but no, it's but I'll it's pick got it. Sean yeah, I was gonna it. say I'll pick it. You you said it. I'll pick it. <laughs> All right. Thank you. We're gonna make a move to a much better production company. Uh, we are gonna gonna take a stop by Blumhouse. All right. And we are gonna watch the movie that was so financially successful that it funded the production of Get Out. We're gonna okay. watch The Boy Next Door. Oh shit. What? Oh, <laughs> Silence in the room right now. I, what? I can't what? Wait, like Jennifer, Jennifer Lopez. Yeah. Oh my! Well, yep. we'll see you. Listener. I am confused. I am. <laughs> Have you seen it, Sean? Hope you tune Parts. in next week <laughs> <laughs> for the boy next door. Oh from I, I don't know how to feel. I don't know how to feel right now. Uh, if you haven't seen it, you, ain't, you don't have a call. So. I've seen it. Yeah, I've so it'll be next too. week on the Saturday Night Free Show. <laughs> we hope you please join us. Please, please, please listen. Be there with me because to figure out what is we'll going on. Sean won't be here. He won't but... be here. Oh, no, I won't be here. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. I will not be here for next right. week. Uh, so that's next week on the Saturday Night Freak Show. And until then, listener, the basement is going dark.